Hello, hello students, how are you doing? This is Mrs. Teixeira talking to you. We are here today to, to do some exercise in our book Material Anglo Lingua Inglesa. So please take it and open it on page 51, okay? Page 51. You have already done this exercise, so the video is just to check what you did, okay? So, page 51, 51, exercise 1. Read the comic strip and choose the correct alternative. Mom, I can't find the chocolate caramel cereal. That's because I got rid of it. I want us all to start eating healthier. So, I clean out all the junk food. Mom's gone ready. What does it mean? The girls want to eat healthier the father is worried about the diet. The girl is worried about her mom. Or the girl's mother decide the family diet. The girl's mother decide the diet. Good. According to the context, what does the expression mean? To get rid of, it is get rid of is joguei fora. Cadê o cereal? Eu joguei fora. Okay, let's continue. And to go rock, it is to start behaving in a way that is not normal. We can say that is um, tratante, uma pessoa estranha. Yes, that's the idea. Okay, and now we are going to page 52. And we have some exercises to do in here. I'm going to read with you and then we are going to check the exercises. 52. Good morning, Sandra. Time to wake up. It's 7 o'clock already. You will be late for school and I have uh, to dash off to work in a few minutes. Morning, Mom. I didn't hear the alarm clock. I stay up till 1.30 studying for the chemistry test today. I did a lot of exercise and I give a million bucks for a little more time in bed. Mm. Weren't you chatting on Skype? I may be wrong, but I thought I heard some voices coming from your bedroom last night. Oh gosh, mom, don't you trust me? I didn't talk to any of my friends yesterday. I crossed my heart. Sure, I'm just teasing you. Well, hurry up. The test won't wait for you. I have just set the table for breakfast. There is a bowl of cereal, a few toast, milk, jam, and some chocolate muffins I have made specially for you. Thanks, bum. But I think I won't have time to eat that much. I'm so anxious that I feel sick. Just a thought of eating. I will have only a little milk. Sandra, this won't do you any good. It's useless to get stressed now. Remember, you must have a good breakfast to start off your day. And you haven't been eating properly lately as far as I know. By the way, what did, what did you have lunch at school yesterday? I gobbled down some french fries and a pizza. I didn't feel like having any other kind of food. You see, dear, that is not enough for a healthy diet. Tonight, when we are back home, you can help me prepare a delicious beef and vegetables and a nice crunchy salad to make up for the junk food you like so much, right? Okay, mom, I will help you and I promise I will eat everything up. Can I invite Anne for the supper this night, for dinner? Sure, as long as she doesn't mind having beef and salad. Well, I'm off, I'm off to work then. Oh, and good luck on your test. Bye, Mom. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Will you? Okay. According to this, so we have a conversation between a mother and her daughter. They're talking about their day, the food, what does the girl have to do. So, Sandra was busy studying for the test last night. True or false? It is right. Her mother will certainly get to work late. 
It is not mentioned. She doesn't say that I'm late. So, not. Sandra stay in bed some more minutes. Wrong. Her mother wake her, wake her up. She has been eating badly lately. Yeah, so right. French fries and pizza, it's not healthy. Sandra's friend will come over to have dinner with her. Not mentioned. She said that she will invite, but the f her friend didn't say yes. Uh, what does Sandra's mother say about her daughter's eating habits? The food that she is eating, is it good? It's not properly healthy. It's not healthy. Will Sandra have a big breakfast? Will she eat a lot? No, she is nervous. She will drink some milk, only this. What is her mother going to cook for dinner? Her mother is going to cook beef, vegetables, and salad okay all right um the pair work exercise we are not going to do what i want to do with you is the useful language i will give a million bucks what is, we are on page 54, guys, 54, okay? What is, I will give you a million bucks, is, in Portuguese, eu daria um milhão de dólares. Guys, don't forget to write acentos, okay? My computer and my keyboard, it's not working, so I, you know that milhão and dólares, you have to write. I'm just teasing you. What is just teasing you? Estou brincando. Estou zoando. It's useless to get stressed now. What is useless to get stressed? É inútil. Olha os acentos, galera. É inútil se estressar agora. Good. A nice crunchy salad. What is crunchy salad? Uma salada crocante. As long as she doesn't mind having beef and salad. Se ela não, olha os acentos, sem importar. Em comer salada e carne. Choose the right alternative to define the expressions. Dash off, guys, is the same of rush. Go. Cross my heart, it is. Swear, juro, prometo. Double down, it is the same as eight fast, noisily and greedy. Tipo, só engoli. Keep your fingers crossed, it is wish me luck. And when we talk about I'm off, we are talking about leaving for work. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Next week, we are going to continue using our material Anglo. All right? Have a nice day. Bye-bye.